The other day I made a gripper strip frame and it's been one of the best decisions I've made in a while. And luckily for you, I filmed the whole thing. This is what a gripper strip frame looks like. Mine is really big. It's 50 centimeters by 50 centimeters. You don't have to make it this big. It's a wooden frame and on the frame we have gripper strips so these are tiny little teeth they are quite sharp on their own together it's okay it works a little bit like velcro you take a piece of monk's cloth you make sure it's larger than the size of your frame and you can lay it over it Make sure it covers all the sides. You can just stretch out your fabric by pulling on all sides. And literally in a few seconds, you've got your fabric stretched out and ready for punch needling. The main ingredients are a plank of wood in this approximate size and gripper strips. <laughs> As you can see, I've had a little helper. So what you do is saw the plank of wood in four different pieces and sand it all around to make it neat. Because I wanted to make a square shaped frame, I've not made all the planks the same size. The one on the lower side and upper hand are smaller than the ones on the side. This makes it easy to put the frame together. Pre-drill two holes on the long plank and make sure it goes into the other plank as well. This will help you to know on what height these holes are. Remove the first plank and drill two holes where the markings were. Do this for all four sides. Use wood glue to make it extra strong. Then put the sides together and put screws in. Make sure these screws are long enough. And then screw the two planks together. Make sure you put the right planks together as you pre-drilled the holes on the same height. Do this for all four sides. And then this is what it should look like. Since you will be handling this frame a lot, it's nice to sand all the sharp sides so that you don't hurt yourself. Don't forget to wear a mask, it can get dusty. You will need to cut the strips to size and for that you will need a strong pair of cutters, like a tin snip. It's a bit of a hassle, you will have to cut through all these little sharp teeth. Don't forget to cut off these warped teeth you are left with. Now this is important. These teeth have a angle to them and you want to make sure that you place them onto the frame correctly. So this is the inside of the frame and the strips are going to go over it in this manner. As you can see, these strips are pointing in this direction, like that, not the other way. In this way, when the fabric goes over it, it's being grabbed like that. For the next part, I'll be using this power tacker, but you could also use this one. It will be a little bit harder though. So what is important is the staples. So we've been using these and these have a length of eight millimeters. My Tacker can go to 10 millimeters, so if I had known beforehand, I would probably have bought the 10 millimeter ones because these are actually quite short to grab this entire strip. Maybe the longer the better, but 
in the end, with a little bit of hassle, uh, it did work. So let me show you how we did it. Place the strip on one side and start by stapling in one in the middle and one on each side to make sure it's all on straight. So you have to take into account that you will be folding over the strip. About half will be going on the top and half of the strip will be folded over. Now fill this entire strip with staples. You will need every single one of them for it to stay in place. To fold it over I recommend wearing gloves as these teeth are really sharp and then staple this side too. It's really nice to have an extra pair of hands here. Also fill out this entire side with staples. You might notice that the other side that you just stapled will start coming loose a bit. So it is a bit of a hassle, but just go on and keep on stapling. It will stay on in the end. And then repeat the process for all four sides. When choosing the size of your plank, it's important to think about a few things. I've chosen a width of two centimeters approximately because as I have shown you the gripper strip frame has to fold over it and you don't want this bit to be too long. The longer it is the less room you will have to punch as you can punch inside here. You still have to put in the staple so you can put in staples at the edge right here. My plank is actually quite high, it's about 70 millimeters and I did this on purpose because I wanted to punch without having to lift my frame at any time. So when I punch at the highest setting, which you can see right here, I can punch all the way without touching the thing, the table that is underneath. So that's why I I made it this high. Size of the frame is quite big and because it's so big every time that I start a project I will need a piece of fabric which covers the whole thing so that might not be handy if you don't want to make large projects so then you can make it smaller. So if you want to make it in a square size and you want to do it the same way then you will have to make one side in the size that you wanted, in this case 50 centimeters, and the two opposite sides will be larger. So you will take the 50 centimeters plus two times the thickness of your plank. So on this side and on the other side, and then you know how long your plank needs to be. So two times this size and two times the inner size. Also notice that I didn't put the gripper strips all the way to the end and I did them loosely, essentially the same size as the inner frame. I also wanted to talk to you a little bit about the strips themselves. They come in different sizes. The size says something about the density of the teeth. So for example, the ones that I use are 380 ppsi points per square inch and this measurement is good for monk's cloth and linen but you also have for example 300 ppsi and that is good for more coarse material maybe like burlap and you will also have 480 which should be better for finer fabrics. Uh, I'm saying this to just let you know, in my shop I will only have the 380 available. It works really well with the monk's cloth that I have and I will show you some other fabrics that you can use with it as well. This is a linen viscose uh, mix. It looks really nice, it has a bit of a different color and 
and it's also really quite dense so I think this is 18 count and let's see how it goes so you can use this fabric with your regular needle and chunky yarn but the fabric doesn't budge it stays in place this is the smaller laver punch needle with fine yarn and let me just show you well that works perfectly so i have a monk's cloth with a small count so seven and a half count and that means it's really less dense than the ones that i usually have and uh, let's see if it works and if it holds on the frame. So here we go. I've taken a chunky yarn with my regular sized punch needle. And well, together with this uh, specific monk's cloth, it is really comfortable as these holes are bigger. My punch needle will go in more smoothly. So that works really comfortably. And as you can see, it stays on the frame. It doesn't budge. So let's take it off. I do see that in some places it might get a little bit move but as you can see it's not broken so you can move it back in place it's different from the normal monk's cloth that i use this one didn't show anything if you when you take it off it doesn't it's not being moved i hope that's all pretty clear and it answers any questions you may have i will have the strips available in my shop i did order them already a few days ago and they should be here any day but they are not here yet today so maybe by the end of the week or the beginning of next week hopefully uh, you can get the strips and start making your own gripper strip frame wouldn't that be cool see you guys bye <laughs>